part of the crucial um, observations um, and from the public health domain is, of course, still the ongoing challenges of long-term care facility outbreaks, which is why I think um, all the chief medical officers, all the province territories are trying to do um, the best they can to strengthen the response in in that area because that is um, driving the severe outcomes, I think, in in Canada. So I think that is absolutely a key feature of this epidemic. Uh, we have um, seen um, that the day-over-day -day increase in number of cases um, has slowed down, but we will be doing more work on that front, um, being cautious about um, you know where we're at, and so expect more um, um, essentially um, description of how that is going um, as we go along in the ne next coming uh, week. Um, I think, um, you know, a lot of the trends are actually positive in terms of the sl slowing down of that growth rate. Um, I think um, one area that people did sort of note is the uh, case fatality uh, ratio or rate. And unfortunately, given the outbreaks in long-term care facilities, we will expect to see more reported death as the days uh, go on. And if people are looking at that ratio of deaths over the total number of cases reported, even as, as I said in my opening remarks, even as the numbers of cases, that growth in the number of cases slows down, the number of deaths, unfortunately, are expected to increase. So that ratio is a very dynamic one that we're monitoring. Um, but for sure, um, the key observation is still that the severe outcomes are impacting um, those who are of the older age groups, particularly those over 70 in terms of hospitalizations and deaths. And uh, that is the group where we really must protect in terms of um, you know, seeing a reduction in our impact. Thank you.